see okay. Oh, look at that. Back, I can't imagine that was supposed to be purple. Maybe. 116,000 miles. 5.5 eight cylinder in the Mercedes. This just seems like it'd be a really light car. I guess Mercedes ain't that light. AMG, so maybe it's tuned. Automatic. This has got to be fast too, you'd think. Start off. Off the dash. Like it's supposed to look like stone or something, a little marble. Mercedes radio. The seat is like so far forward, I have no idea how to move it back. Oh, I guess it's here in the door. Oh, there we can move back. Come over the sunroof. See, this is kind of gray on the headliner. You'd think that the uh, back window was originally gray. Now oh, my head's still fairly close to the ceiling. It goes down just a hair more. Alright, check out this back seat leg room. I guess that's where you put your Walmart bags. Oh yeah, yeah, if I was five foot tall, it'd be okay. Then my seat would be a lot further forward. I mean, this is, seems nice for only 10 grand. Some of the Mercedes are good reliability and some not so much. Oh, look at the window comes down and you open it and then goes up when you shut it. You can look at the Mercedes headlights and how old they are. I haven't used that raw design in a while. Look at the other one that's missing. It's a little spring loaded thing in there. Yeah, let's look like at King Ranch F350. So if you don't know what to do with your money, you want to spend it all on gas, you can uh, drive this around for fun. Not so bad when you're pulling something. I mean, you have to have a truck, but a little condensation on the tail end. If that's the uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum tailgate. I think all of these went to aluminum. Oh, fifth wheel. Okay, miles. 91,000 miles. Oh, you could put two or three hundred thousand miles on this thing. Yet. Oh, look at the running board comes out. Oh, we're wearing the seat. You would think this would have uh, thicker leather. Definitely some uh, headroom here. Yeah, this is crazy nice. And I do see these things. Oh, look how much leg room's here. You got somebody riding in the back seat. They definitely want you in the. Uh, Cab. I think it's got a PTO. Wow. I'm not even sure what hook to the power takeoff on it. It comes with a free penny down on the bottom. If I miss that. Free penny with the buy truck. I would think these grab bars could be replaced. You could make this as good as new. Put a wear on the steering wheel. Definitely like the grab bar on it. Something this big. Yeah, oh, that's a truck. Yeah, I watched the uh, running board go up. If that gets credit up in my winter. Alright, we've got the Chevy Dually next door. Probably handle a little more tongue weight. 3,500, so I'm almost making one ton. Look at those rims. It looks like a plastic cover. Oh, it is. There's a plastic cover over it. Yeah, the rim doesn't stick up here as much as it's supposed to show. Did not realize that. Diesel. It looks like fifth wheel trap, but not in there. LT. I guess the hitch is all rusted. I like the step to get into the bed. Well, that's really low miles. Looks like 2,400 miles. What, 73 grand? Nice interior, not, not King Ranch, but yeah, 3,456 miles. I, it just looks like something you'd use to pull, pull your horse trailer.
32, I remember to get a brand new one for that. So I remember getting a brand new one for less than that. 3.66 cylinder. Yeah, for long legs, like you gotta get your, your foot past this. It's always, the Jeep's always felt like you're stepping on it. Yeah, the Jeep dash is off. The top comes off. Emblems. Still got knobs instead of buttons. Seems like all the uh, buttons or all the knobs are going away. 59,000 miles. I can imagine the mileage is that great on these things. Yeah, the side is like flat. Let's bump my head on the. Uh... Oh, this has got a rain gutter. I remember when all the cars had rain gutters, but I guess that was like in the 70s. We'll strap the back seat. It's used to be able to buy accessories for cars and all everything clamped to the rain gutter. Now oh, pretty much nothing has rain gutters anymore. Rain gutter on the side. Ah, oh, another Ford. Smells like uh, looking at new campers. Yeah, huge back seat. Some of these have this thing where you can uh, lay it down and lay it flat so you can sleep in the seat. Yeah, there's a little like, neat pockets. Lots of storage. No, come on, come on. back seat. Turbo Max. <laughs> I can't talk. The Duramax. The diesel. Coughs and sneezes. Red diseases. Uh, this, these are always nice. I like the extra stitch marks in the leather, which I guess serves absolutely no purpose. Very nice interior, though. Are you at center of? Yeah, how many miles? 35,000 miles. 2021. Very nice. Uh, bed rug. Yeah, well, you have a uh, carpet and a uh, open bed. I guess it had a topper on it. Sharp back door. 2,500. Aftermarket rims and white tires. 32 grand. We'll give these things away. Only 70,000 miles. So we passed inspection. A little bit of damage on the side of the seat. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of rust from where they drag the feet across. Keep getting uh, text messages that are not for me. Uh, some new scams out there. Constantly saying like, hey, remember me? But like, no, it's not a number I have saved. Definitely not for me. This truck smells brand new. Oh, just over a thousand miles. Of course, they're asking seven, eight thousand dollars for it. Odd that all these uh, new trucks are on the uh, dealer lot, or on the used car lot. Looks like they're uh, starting a fish pond or something. Bed liners just sprayed in. Another one ton. I 
leather interior. Air Max. But yeah, $51,000. I mean, I tell stuff, but not like enough to justify the price. But yeah, look at the tires on this. how good the 2.7 is. People that have it say it's fine, but do they really merge onto the highway? I think the uh, on-ramp onto the interstate is the only spot where I really need a little more oomph, especially when you're pulling a trailer. Sometimes the uh, interstate is just flying. I'm moving out in the sticks. Seems like I'm constantly getting on the uh, interstate. I just kind of had that flat front for a while. Oh, everybody's going to that. Maybe they're copying Dodge. I just missed that part. Oh, it's got a nice interior. Ford F-150. A lot of F-150s. I always hear that's number one selling. 2013 3.5. I'll sell first gen 3.5. I've heard the first gen is not as good as second gen, but they always say whatever's newer is better. So you buy a new one, and then years later you find out that was just as bad. 132,000 miles and an 18. 2018 for 18 grand. Yeah, I don't know. They need to replace more front seats or driver's seats. Is this really a Raptor? I didn't see that. Yeah, so it's a Raptor. It's an STX, as near as I can tell. Unless that's something that's sad. I don't know why it would say Raptor on the touchscreen when it starts. 